Hello. It's time for Chapter 15 from Broken Twigs Farewell to Fairy Forest, written by Charlotte Taylor and illustrated by Kezia Crossley. I think things are taking a rather positive turn for Twigs. Looks like she's off on a bit of an adventure with her new elf friend, Thistle. Let's waste no time in finding out what happens next. Chapter 15 is called, Is Evil Something You Do or Something You Are? Narcissa was growing tired of waiting. As she sat within her forest shelter, her black hood pulled over her raven locks. She calculated that everything had to be going according to plan. Otherwise, she'd have heard by now if anything had occurred to thwart her progress. But still, she was not the most patient of souls, and her irritation was beginning to show. It had been nearly three days since she'd sent off her Silvermore warriors this time and she hadn't anticipated having to wait this long to garner some news. She got querulously to her feet and stomped outside to her sacred cauldron. Maybe some magic was in order to ascertain what was afoot. Just as she was about to gather her ingredients, she heard the snapping and shuffling of sticks from behind. She turned to see one of her silvermores approaching, and her eyes glinted fiercely in expectation of the news she was about to receive. The Silvermore approached the cauldron and offered a route up to Narcissa. She rose into the air and then unharnessed a sharp knife from her belt, cutting a deep slit along the surface of the proffered tendril. Clear drops of sap dripped almost musically into the potion within the mixing pot. Narcissa immediately began to chant, causing the bewitched ladle to begin its incessant stirring once more. At the same time, she placed a palm upon the sliced root of her silvermore, and it healed instantly. The liquid within the cauldron began to bubble and to smoke, to boil and to hiss. Narcissa clapped her hands with glee as images began to appear showing all of the events leading up to the fire in Fairy Forest, as seen through the eyes of the late guard fairy, Leaf. However, as she watched, transfixed to the moving images on the surface of the potion, her sinister smile faded, replaced by disbelief, and then sheer joy. <laughs> oh, look who we have, she chuckled although the sound was far from pleasing. There you are, you slippery little rat! She was studying a red-haired fay standing alone in the vision, being punished by the fairy queen. Narcissa watched with wicked delight as the queen magicked away the fairy's wings and banished her to wander alone and frightened in the dark woods. This couldn't have played out better if she tried. Now that she'd uncovered the whereabouts of this miscreant and had deduced that she was all on her own, the Fay would be easy pickings for her silvermores. She refocused her attention on the potion's surface once more and looked at the Queen. <laughs> Dear Queen Iris, she sneered, you've seen better days by the looks of you. <laughs> Narcissa continued to watch the images to the end, to the moment when a giant root had appeared in front of Leaf's eyes and then redness had led to darkness. Narcissa was bursting with a terrible excitement. It all seemed so worth it now. All the anger, all the loneliness, all the hatred, all the time. It had all combined to lead to this very moment, this truly great moment. She was so close. Oh my goodness, just as you think things are picking up, Narcissa appears back in the story. Well, join me next time for chapter 16 and I'm afraid that'll be the last chapter in this particular book. So I hope to see you very soon.